hey guys welcome back to day number eight so today it's gonna be interesting more interesting than yesterday because we will go going to finish this one i hope you have already done with this two uh, this those were your homework if not if you are unable to do it then please comment down then i'll help you otherwise i'm not gonna help you right okay so in this one actually what we'll do we will explore module we'll explore the hierarchy in more depth so let's start without any further delay so in this problem actually we need to maybe we need to know some concepts and those concepts are flip-flop like you might think but trust me you don't need to know the concepts or of those flip-flop or here you, you will if you read it then you will know somehow it's written yeah you need to design a shift register if you know the exact concept it's great but for sure for our first year second year btx guys they are not knowing those if you are in your third fourth mtech and you don't know then also also it's okay but it believe that for senior guys you should be knowing this one if you don't know you need to do more hard work okay so in layman language your d flip-flop is just a black box if you don't know the concept then let's consider it for our very log we are learning very log not digital electronics right so for now let us consider it as a black box so in d flip-flop what is happening if you give anything here like one then in output you will get a one and we also have a clock signal like you you will tell then what's the difference we are giving something we are getting that way it's like a wire only but the difference is that we have a clock signal control depend on the clock signal for example now my clock is down so if my d flip flop work with a high clock then when my clock is down if i keep on changing my data here and two is not possible binary bits zero one zero one anything but in your output you will see only the one so therefore we have something like a memory inside this d flip-flop we can store the value right that's the speciality inside we have an interesting circuit which, which can do it and for sure you need to know it uh, if you don't know currently just relax not to worry like for this problem we don't need to know those concepts here so here what we need to do we need to connect our such kind of 3d flip-flop and we need to make a shift register again shift register what does it do if you have some binary number for example 101 and you want to give a input another zero so in next phase we should be having a zero one zero we are shifting it in right side then if you again give a zero as an input then in the, our next clock we'll get a zero zero one so that's the work of flip um, shift register it's have a lot of application and for sure in your senior year you will learn about those things but for now we need to build it using our very log concepts very log expertise so we're gonna do those things here but before that please like this video we need to reach 50 like in each episodes for last two episodes it's very sad we are still to reach that benchmark of 50 like but i hope you will go there it's the rule of the game you need to play with uh spirit of the game right okay so here what is given here the module definition is already given to us and in our last episode also i have said if module definition is given and here what we need to do we need to instantiate it three times right so that means what happening inside is not of our worry because we are an integration engineer here we don't need to know what's going inside in those small small modules so that's why they haven't given us any detail here and we don't need to know also right so this the module is given to you you need to do what what's the first step would be first step would be okay instantiate is three times because we need to instantiate it three times so let's do it i hope you know how to instantiate your like you, you are expert now because in our last episode we have already done it so just what you need to do you need to write the module name dff and then you need to give the instance name a unique instance name so for us here let us give us d1 and inside d1 we need to assign the connections so connection we will assign later first of all let's define it for three time now here we need to make the connections but before making a connection just see here what is happening here uh, this is your this is your top module right top module also have a d as a input and a clock as a input how i know it because here is the definition of your top module top module is the wrapper of those small 3d flip-flop so this d and clock the input of your top module are getting connected to the input of clock and d of the first flip-flop right perfect 
and then what is happening here this wire intermediate wire is connecting from the output of first flip-flop to the input d input of second flip-flop and same is true here so we need to give some name to those wire right so for our simplicity let's give those wire name as d1 out and for this d2 out now all the wires are defined one thing we can see for sure clocks are connecting to all the d flip-flop or all the instances of d flip-flop so let us first connect the clock to all those three instances what we have done here these instances one two three right you just remember this one because now i'll erase this so first of all we need to connect the clock input of the d flip-flop to the clock of which is coming from the top module so how i'll do i have the two method by position by name but what is recommended by position uh, by name is recommended so i'll write clk and inside i will connect with the clock which i am getting from here right these two clocks are different different they are not same the names are same but they are different because this clock is the is for this input clock of your d flip flop and the another clock is coming from the top module so don't get confused same names are given but if they have given some different name it would be more clear but here don't get confused so what i am saying that here the clock input of my d flop gonna connect to the clock where which is coming from the top module and these things going to be for all the three instances so i have done it after that comma comma and comma now now for the d1 see for the d1 uh, one input is already defined clock we have already connected now the second input which is d which will connect to the d where or the input of your top module which is again d so we'll write dot d and then braces and dot d right then comma and then here the output which is q is going to where to this wire and what the name of this wire we have given d1 out so we'll directly write dot q and inside we'll write d1 out now there one wrong thing i am doing and that is i haven't declared this d out here right so now if i run it uh, for sure i'll get some error so let us declare it and what should i declare i should declare them as a wire so i'll write wire and then d1 out and also we need to have another one so d2 out and then semicolon likewise here we will assign the d input of the second flip-flop c d of the second flip-flop here just concentrate is again connecting to the where which whose name is d1 out which we already defined right so i'll write d1 underscore out and then the q the output of the second flip-flop should connect to the second where which is d2 out so d2 out and i hope this is done now for this one i i hope you already got the things so i'm not explaining and i'm just writing and the last q last q the output of the third one actually connecting to the output of your top wrapper which is again q so that's why we can write it here q and then q and i hope we have done it perfectly so let us submit it and we should be getting a success message and see we got a success message uh, here they have clock so clock will go up down up down and then they are providing us d this clock d and q are not for this d flip-flop not for this d flip-flop they are for the top module okay so that's the one so let's go to the next problem modules and vector and uh, i think it will be more interesting than the previous one and here you can see we have adder adder to this all are very important problem we should uh, solve them with all the sincerity so here what they are doing they are actually just extending the last problem what we have done and in our last problem you might have noticed that here uh, d d input are you afraid of this circuit it's very easy don't worry so yeah so this d input was one bit previously but now here it is eight bit this is a symbol how we keep on using like this okay so it's a eight bit one and all are your 8-bit ff uh, d flip-flop so if we see from here then we will get a 8-bit result and here what we are doing actually we are shifting 
previously we were shifting one bit at a time but now we, we will shift right shift eight bit at a time here the complexity this is one complexity than the previous problem the second complexity is there that we also have a multiplexer here 4 is to 1 multiplexer and till today we haven't designed any multiplexer and for multiplexer you need to know this concept and that is always and what does this multiplexer is doing um, if you will just brush up your digital electronics theory there you might be knowing that what multiplex do this multiplex is called 4 is to 1 multiplex so it will just transfer uh, these four inputs are there right so it will just transfer one of these four input to the output depending on what is in the select line so now if you have four input then there is four combinations so for four combination we need to have a select line of one bit one bit is okay no because in one bit we have only two alternatives zero or one but we need to have a four combinations so that's why your select line need to be of two bit because in two bit you have this many combination unique combinations so that's why you can just observe here your select line is of two bit right so if it is zero zero your select line then the zero input will select and what is your zero input zero input is this so you will just keep all your d flip flop and anything given in the input will come to output likewise if your select line is one one then your this input will be selected and you will get the output from the third d flip flop this might have some application but here we don't know what's the exact application but here this is our task to develop it but before that we need to for our simplicity we need to do one mask problem uh, like designing a four is to one multiplexer so we will do that in next episode for now it is your task to try to solve it if you can it's wonderful if you don't also then don't worry for sure in our next episode i'll start with the multiplexer first and then i'll go to this problem so the question for today is that you need to analyze this code and you need to tell what would be the answer for your out one and out two you have four option please comment down below your option answer and also if you can explain it why uh, this is your answer okay and in our next episode for sure we will explain what's the answer exactly till then tata bye bye and keep smiling